going to talk about this weird mystery that's been around California carnivores since I was a little kid. And me and Peter never really talked about it too much because we didn't really know what it was so we didn't have that much to say about it. Um, we've seen it for years though. Usually pops up around this time of year on some of the Venus flytraps just really randomly. It never ever seemed to hurt anything so that's why it never made its way into the book or any of our videos. We only ever really talk about things if it's like a problem that you need to solve. You know, something like this, as I often say in some of my videos, not every other organism that's growing with your plants has to be destroyed or is harming them in any way. But we didn't know. So when it would pop up on Venus flytraps that we just potted up for sale, we wouldn't sell those, we'd hold them back. And I never treated it with anything. And it would just disappear, usually after a few months. Um, then, you know, I, I figured it was probably something fungal, but then it never really hurt the plants. And so I just kept wondering, what is this thing? And the other night as I was sitting home, you know, thinking about stuff like I always, always do, overthinker, shocking. Um, I was sitting there thinking and I thought, I wonder if that's a slime mold. Now, slime mold sounds gross, sounds worse than a regular mold, get that off my fly traps, probably. Um, but actually, no, they're harmless um, to the fly traps anyways. And I kind of sleuthed this by, um, I Google searched slime mold on green leaves. And something very similar popped up on a strawberry leaf. And I said, oh my God, it's a slime mold. So slime molds are really cool. And I'm not a slime mold expert, but I'm gonna do my best. But all those little gray bodies that you're seeing, it's like, it starts off multicellular. It divides um, just the same way our cells divide. I'm gonna put this down for a second. So it kind of creeps along. But then at a certain point, the divisions between the cells all dissolve and it becomes one giant like cell and it creeps around there's a great documentary i forget what it's called but <laughs> there's a great documentary i watched about them and they can solve um mazes to find food they're really amazing and we recently just saw the sporing bodies um we'll pull that up so you can see it that they have these really weird sporing bodies anyways if you've ever gotten a venus flytrap from us and you've wondered what is that thing slime mold. 